This is John Martinka, who read a great article in Fast Company. Uh, the title was, Forget the Startup, Buy a Business from a Retiring Entrepreneur. The first line went something like, you don't have to come up with the next Uber, and then went on to talk about buying a business. The way I would say it was buy a mature, profitable, and fairly priced company. Just after that, I read an article in Seattle Magazine that said the cost of a new 2,000 square foot restaurant in the city of Seattle is between six hundred seventy and eight hundred fifty thousand dollars for that. Why would you think a starting one buy something? Any industry is the same. You want to have a machine shop? You have to buy machines. It's a big investment with no customers. Buy a company. So the fast company article made three points besides the good good old things like profit and customers and good product. Appeal to the seller, and I've been preaching for a couple decades. It's a relationship game. You have to get along with the seller. They won't sell to somebody they don't like, and you won't buy from somebody you don't like. Second, have a 100-day plan. And that's why all my books, including Buying a Business That Makes You Rich, has a detailed transition plan. And in fact, I know banks that won't fund a loan until they see a written transition plan. Third, where can you add value? Because they have a great line. They say, if you can't add value and you just keep it the way it is, you've got a job and your boss is the bank. Take a hint from these two articles. Buying is often the best way. And not just for people wanting their own business, but for people in a business. This is why I have an upcoming book, Tentatively Tire. Company Growth by Acquisition makes dollars and cents, S-E-N-S-E. -E. It makes a lot of sense to go out and buy a business or buy another one. Thank you.